This video may contain spoilers. You've been warned. Change is never easy, and sometimes it's best to go back to your roots. Maybe that's why NCIS bosses are mulling over Michael Weatherly's return after Mark Harmon fails to leave retirement. But what about this big scandal Michael Weatherly was involved in after NCIS? Are Westworld and other cancelled shows getting a new home? And what is Jeffrey Dean Morgan's response to the Walking Dead Dead City fan theories? You're going to find out in this video. So let's start with NCIS bosses are mulling over Michael Weatherly's return after Mark Harmon fails to leave retirement. Rumor has it that Mark Harmon has been on the fence about possibly returning to NCIS after all, but he's not the only one who's considering making a comeback. Apparently, Michael Weatherly has been eagerly eyeing a return to NCIS as well. Weatherly portrayed Special Agent Tony Dinozo on the long-running hit series, but he decided to leave the police procedural in 2016, breaking the hearts of fans. Weatherly wanted to move on to his own show and went on to star in the legal drama Bull, where he portrayed the trial science expert, Dr. Jason Bull. In 2021, executive producers already teased a possible comeback for Gibbs, saying, as longtime fans of the show may have noticed over the years, never count Leroy Gibbs out. Sadly, nothing has come from that tease so far, but now Bull has been cancelled after six seasons. NCIS fans have had their fingers crossed for the possibility that Weatherly might return, and there are whispers that confirm that Weatherly would like to return to his old show. When Weatherly left, left NCIS at the end of its 13th season, his co-stars were obviously disappointed that he was leaving the team, but were understanding. Now it seems that there's hope he'll make it back to the team. The question is, do the showrunners of NCIS want Weatherly back as well? Even if fans were to welcome the actor back with open arms, there was a small scandal revolving Weatherly, and NCIS might not want to give the world the signal that they don't take the allegations that were made at the time seriously. Next up, Michael Weatherly's big scandal after NCIS. Most most NCIS fans will remember Michael Weatherly and his special agent Tony Dinozo fondly, and he remains an all-time favorite for many fans to this day. But not every fan is aware that Weatherly was actually at the center of a scandal with former co-star Eliza Dushku in 2018. Dushku accused Weatherly of bullying on set harassment. When Dushku confronted him about it, he allegedly used his sway at the network to get Dushku fired. The wrongful termination that resulted was settled unofficially between Dushku and CBS for $9.5 million, and both sides agreed to never discuss the incident. Initially, Dushku's abrupt departure from the show in 2017, after only three episodes, was a mystery to the world. However, a year later, the full story was uncovered through investigative reporting, and when CBS broke their agreement to remain silent on the matter, Dushku decided to stand up for herself and opened up about her experience with Weatherly in an interview with the Boston Globe. Dushku claimed that Weatherly bullied and harassed her on a daily basis during her brief time working on NCIS, and even detailed a few specific instances. He supposedly asked her to come to his van, filled with all sorts of lubricants and long phallic thing. He also asked her to join a front of other crew members, called her legs, and talked about his sperm. Weatherly describes his behavior as jokes and has suggested that Dushku just doesn't understand his attempt at humor. Do you think he was being funny? And now, Westworld and other removed HBO Max shows are getting a new home. Just one month after it was first announced that Westworld would not be moving forward with season 5, which would have been the series' last season, it was revealed that Westworld would also be leaving HBO Max as a whole. The decision seems to be part of many of the cost-cutting decisions that have been made in recent times, in connection with the Warner Bros. and Discovery merger earlier in 2022. Other titles that have since been removed include the HBO Max original, Raised by Wolves, and The Time Traveler's Wife. It's just another slap in the face for viewers, but maybe there's some hope yet. Entertainment Weekly reports that some content, including Westworld and other canceled and removed HBO Max shows, are on their way to finding new homes on free, ad-supported streaming services, referred to as Fast Services, which stands for Free Ad-Supported Television. Warner Bros. Discovery have announced that the series joining Westworld also include The Nevers, Head of the Class, Finding Magic Mike, F-Boy Island, and Legendary. Sadly, this doesn't account for Minx, but it looks like Warner Bros. Discovery have the intention to keep many shows and movies available to viewers. So, even if we're not going to get any closure for Westworld, those who weren't able to finish the show in time before it was released will still be given the option to do so. Or maybe you just want to give it a good rewatch. Either way, the silver lining here is that content that gets removed 
removed from platforms may not be lost forever after all. Hold up, there's more coming right up. Next, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's response to Dead City fan theories. We look at how faithful The Last of Us is, and is this really the end for Minx? Now that HBO Max has axed the series, stay tuned to find out. But first, The Walking Dead's Jeffrey Dean Morgan responds to fan theories about Dead City. The Walking Dead has come to an end in November 2022, but that doesn't mean that we have to say goodbye to all of its characters. Earlier in the year, it was announced that the show should continue on in the form of three separate spin-offs, Rick and Michonne, Daryl Nixon, and Dead City. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who's known for portraying Negan on The Walking Dead, has responded to some fun fan theories about his upcoming spin-off series, The Walking Dead, Dead City. Because while a release date has yet to be released, the show is expected to make its premiere in April of 2023, which means that fan theories are abound about the brand new show. Morgan thought it would be fun to tease his fans on Twitter by responding to some of their theories. One person theorized that something might happen to Annie, Negan's wife, which could cause Negan to go back to his old, cruel ways. Morgan said that he liked the theory and that it's not a crap one either. He called the theory of someone else about Maggie and Negan going to New York to find Annie and Herschel after they're captured. Morgan also teased about Annie's future on Dead City, saying, guess we'll find out, when someone asked him what happened to Annie at the end of The Walking Dead. Morgan didn't really give any definite answers to any of the questions or theories, but some of his responses may indicate that fans aren't too far off when it comes to guessing where the show may be headed. What are your theories about the upcoming The Walking Dead, Dead City? Following, how faithful is The Last of Us? The Last of Us is the upcoming HBO adaptation of the original 2013 video game of the same name, following Pedro Pascal's Joel Miller and Bella Ramsey's Ellie, as they cross a zombie-infested United States in an attempt to reach the Fireflies, a militant revolutionary group that is trying to restore the world to its former zombie-free glory. The pressure has been on to create a series that is as faithful to the source material as possible, given how much of an impact the original game made on the gaming community. Throughout production, fans were repeatedly reassured by series creators Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann, who have promised that the show will remain faithful to the game and honor its characters well. Set videos and pictures that have been shared have been helpful in convincing fans that the creators were on the right track, as it showed how HBO has meticulously recreated the game's environments and character design. And in a video that was recently shared by The Last of Us Brazil at The Last of Us BR, you can see the comparison between the original HBO trailer and the one that was recreated within The Last of Us Part 1, which is a PlayStation 5 remake of the original PlayStation 3 game. And it can't be denied that they really did an amazing job in capturing the looks and feel of the original game. The Last of Us will premiere on HBO on the 15th of January 2023, so we don't have to wait much longer to finally see the end result. And lastly, HBO has canceled Minx, but does that also mean the end of the show? Minx and its fans had originally been granted a season 2 in May of 2022, and production has been underway for some time now. But these days, that doesn't mean anything anymore, and Minx was mercilessly axed by HBO Max anyway, alongside Love Life. Minx is a show that's set in the 1970s and follows the story of the creation of the world's first graphic magazine for women, and there's a lot more to tell in this story, which is why Minx isn't about to roll over just like that. Jake Johnson, who portrayed portrays the experienced and charming magazine publisher Doug took to Instagram after the show was removed from HBO Max and declared that Minx fully intends to continue production and find a new streaming service that is willing to air the show. The news comes after the cancellation of Minx caused widespread criticism, even though Minx is just one of the many shows that have abruptly been trimmed from the HBO Max library. David Zaslov, the new CEO at WB, defends his decision to remove the content, claiming that the removal is a means of searching for higher quality content which apparently justifies the removal of original content completely, with little to no explanation. However, Johnson's confirmation that the creative team behind Minx is willing to search for a new home for the show is reassuring. A show like Minx, which tells a seriously impactful story and is socially conscious to boot, deserves a lot better than this, don't you think? And that's it for now. Do you think NCIS should take Michael Weatherly back? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching.